the St. James Infirmary Blues Explained. Blues are folk songs. In this case, uh, some people claim that it goes back to the 18th century English tradition. Uh, the last knave or something like that, the final rake or some kind of song like that. But when those songs came to the United States, they were, they were morphed into something definitely American called the blues. And uh, having spent a portion of my life in New Orleans, and from being from a Cajun culture out in the countryside of Louisiana, I know that these folk songs are laconic. They don't tell the whole story, but those that are present when the story happens, they know all the people involved. And then they pass on this, this somewhat incomprehensible story to us. This is what this song is all about. The narrator sings. I went down to the St. James Infirmary to see my baby there. She was laying on a long white table, so sweet, so cool, so fair. I went up to see the doctor. She's mighty low, he said. Okay, you don't leave a sick person alone if you're the doctor, unless you're in a hospital or a clinic like the St. James Infirmary. Maybe if there's a historic place, I don't know. But it was not well uh, staffed with lots of doctors. The doctor's upstairs checking on somebody else. I went back to see my baby. Good Lord, she's laying there dead. Okay, he comes back. The lady has passed since the time he was there just a few minutes before. Why did she die? Let's find out. My explanation, of course. Well, I went out to old Joe's barroom usual thing when somebody's grieved, they go to the barroom. On the corner of the square, maybe Jackson Square in New Orleans in the French Quarter, they were serving the drinks as usual and the usual crowd was there. It's not a tourist place, it's local people, the usual crowd. On my right stood John McKinney. Everybody knows John. His eyes were bloodshot red. He'd been drinking heavily, maybe crying. He turned to the crowd all around him. Everybody wants to know, what's going on, John? And these are the words that he said. Now he's going to comment about the dead girl. Let her go, let her go, God bless her. Wherever she may be. Now he's pretending to be ignorant, doesn't know where she is. He probably hurt her, injured her, in a fit of rage, finding out about the narrator. Put her body out in the alley somewhere. Somebody took her to the infirmary. And that's where the narrator found her. And that's where she died. Anyway, John, John doesn't know where she is, according to his story. Wherever she may be. Now he puts the blame on her. She can search the whole world over. There she is looking around for some other man, see? But she'll never find a man like me. So that's. St. James and Infirmary Brews uh, explained to my satisfaction. We can tell McKinney had an ego. He was bruised pretty badly by this girl being involved with the narrator. So he hits her, she dies. I don't know where she is. Let her go, let her go, God bless her. See, he still has goodwill, but God bless her. Never find a man like me. 
ego, jealousy, rage. How do you interpret that song? It's a St. James Infirmary Blue.